So if we can learn to offer compassionate protection of the vulnerability, then that is what makes us resilient. Mm. So listening to our heart is the, uh, the next kind of dialogue. We listen to our body, we listen to our heart, but then we bring um, a curiosity to the stories that we're telling ourselves. And uh, before we can um, investigate what is true, we have to hear what we're afraid of. So we could say, I'm afraid that it's my fault. I'm afraid that you're going to hurt me. You know, there's, there's a fear-based story that's arising. And that story is triggering the traumatic replay over and over again of these responses. So, first of all, we have to hear the story, and then we bring in this curiosity, is this true? Or where is this coming from? Or how did this originate? Some kind of curiosity that allows us to investigate the truth of that story in a gentle way. So this is what we call the restorative dialogue. And we're going to do it in two different ways. 